So I started being a mermaid about a year ago, actually, for the Renaissance Fair last year. And I got in with a group of people called the Blackthorn Rose Guild. And they were really, really nice to me. And I started saving up for a tail. But tails are really expensive. So they're like, oh, we've got extra tails. Why don't you just borrow one of ours? And um, my mermaid friend, Coral, ended up um, giving me her skin and tailoring the mermaid skin to me. And then I started swimming, and that's how I got into being a mermaid. It was pretty awesome. The tail that you see me swimming in, I totally made by myself. And this tail is made out of stretch velvet and fabric paint. I did all the painting by myself. It's hand painted. The tiger stripes are actually a silly mistake that I totally didn't mean to make. My spray bottle, when I started, would only spray in lines, it wouldn't spray in circles. We ended up doing stripes. I was like, oh no, I'm a selkie, seals don't have spots. And my friend sent me a picture of a tiger seal off of Avatar The Last Airbender. And I was like, yes, I'm so cool. My fluke has a monofin in it. And you can kind of see the lines of the monofin. This particular one is a finis rapid. And so the actual mono fin comes out to here where you can see the lines in there. It's got an addition added onto it, which is made out of zip ties and duct tape, which is pretty cool. You can see where our feet go in. Yeah, I totally just debunked a mermaid. My favorite part about mermaiding has to be my interaction with children. Um, being a mermaid and being something magical is really gratifying in and of itself, but watching a kid's eyes light up when they see something make-believe real in front of them, that, that takes all of the bad stuff out of anything that I've ever done. Like, it just makes it so much better, and I love it so much. Like, I've had little girls, like, come up to me and they're like, what? And they'll take their goggles off, and then they'll put their goggles back in, they'll take their goggles off, or another girl is like, had her goggles on and she'd like look above the water and then look under the water and then look above the water and then we'd have like kids like rub their eyes like they they totally can't believe what they're seeing but it's right there and you just end up making somebody's day and it's something that they can talk about for the rest of their life. I gotta swim with a mermaid and like that, that brings so much joy to me. It's, it's so much fun.